But we begin tonight with that Chinese spy balloon hovering over the U.S. tonight. China claiming it is a weather balloon that blew off course. U.S. authorities believe this is a surveillance balloon being maneuvered by China, likely using spy satellites. Well, today the balloon was spotted over Missouri. So where is it tonight and where U.S. authorities believe it's now headed? Of course, among the first sightings over Billings, Montana, a ground stop in Billings for a time, that intelligence bay hanging right beneath the balloon, that's about the size of three buses. The Pentagon tonight on discussions over whether to shoot it down and will there be a small window of opportunity to do just that, what we're learning tonight. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken postponing his high-stakes trip to Beijing, calling China's actions unacceptable. So will this be shot down, and if so, where? And what China is saying tonight? Mary Bruce at the White House and ABC's Mola Lenghi leading us off tonight in Montana. Tonight, the Pentagon confirming the massive Chinese spy balloon is on the move, 60,000 feet above the ground and heading east. The balloon continues to move eastward and is currently over the center of the continental United States. Well, what the heck is that? A senior U.S. official tells ABC News the balloon now appears headed towards North Carolina. Across the country today, Americans with their eyes on the skies posting images like this one, the balloon floating over Missouri. Commercial pilots radioing in. We got that balloon in sight off, so it looks like it's way up there, maybe 50,000 feet or so. The balloon is huge, with a technology bay attached below that is itself the size of three buses, loaded with high-resolution cameras, according to a senior U.S. official, equipped with what appear to be solar panels on the side that could power its technology. It first entered American airspace over Alaska, then flying into southwest Canada before dipping down over Billings, Montana. This thing is up in the sky. What the heck is that? Yeah, that thing is not the moon. Any help would be appreciated. Montana Republican Congressman Ryan Zinke was blunt, tweeting, Shoot it down. The Pentagon today saying that option was considered and rejected for now. We assess that currently it does not pose a physical uh, or military risk to people on the ground. Uh, for now, we're continuing to monitor and review options. The White House today saying President Biden agreed with the Pentagon's strong recommendation. The risks involved with shooting down the balloon just too great. Any potential debris field would be significant uh, and potentially cause civilian uh, injuries or deaths uh, or significant property damage. For its part, China insisting today the balloon is not a spy vessel at all, but a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes. The Pentagon flatly rejecting that claim. We are aware of the PRC's statement. Um, however, the fact is uh, we know that it's a surveillance balloon. We have clearly communicated uh, that this balloon is violating U.S. airspace and international law and that this is unacceptable. China says the balloon deviated far from its planned course, but the Pentagon questioning that as well, saying the balloon can be maneuvered. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News it's likely being navigated with spy satellites. This all happening as Secretary of State Antony Blinken prepared for a weekend trip to Beijing. That visit now canceled. In light of China's unacceptable action, I am postponing my planned travel this weekend to China. We concluded that conditions were not conducive for a constructive visit at this time. There have been other foreign surveillance balloons above the U.S., but none like this. What makes this different is the duration and the length uh, of which it has been over uh, U.S. territory. The Pentagon says the balloon is expected to linger above America for a few days. Now, this is really something. Let's bring in Mola Lenghi. He's in Billings, Montana for us again tonight. And of course, uh, that state with several sensitive nuclear sites. And Mola, as you reported, U.S. authorities uh, say the balloon is likely being navigated by Chinese satellites. The Pentagon says uh, that they've decided not to shoot it down at this point, but that that option isn't completely off the table. Well, that's right, David. A U.S. official familiar with this situation says the current thinking is to wait for the balloon to drift over the Atlantic Ocean and then shoot it down once it's over U.S. territorial waters. That way, one, you can avoid any injuries on the ground, and two, you can retrieve the balloon, study it, and ultimately exploit the intelligence. Now, David, tonight, China says it regrets the unintended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace, but as you can imagine, not exactly flying with national security officials who are calling this unacceptable, David. All right, Mola Lenghi tonight. Mola, thank you. Let's bring in Mary Bruce. She's live at the White House on this. Mary, President Biden chose not to talk about this today, obviously trying uh, not to inflame the situation. But what are you learning from the White House tonight? Obviously, the president continuing to be briefed. And on Mola's point, uh, if you shot this down over U.S. waters, that still is a, a small window of opportunity there to pull this off. 
Yes, David, we know the president is being regularly briefed on this. His team has presented him with all options, including that possible military action to take the balloon down. Now, initially, Biden was advised against that because of the concern over civilian risks. But tonight, of course, we have learned that option may be back on the table. One source telling us the thinking here is, of course, to wait until the balloon goes out to sea and then shoot it down. But this is very tricky. They would have just 12 nautical miles to do this before entering international waters. And they certainly don't want to start an international incident over this. Now, tonight, we are told that the White House is keeping communications to China open. But even though Beijing, in that rare move, expressed regret over this, it was not enough to salvage Secretary Blinken's trip. What is clear tonight is that all of this is only further escalating tensions between our two countries, David. Yeah, no question. You mentioned those 12 nautical miles would be the opportunity. All right, Mary, thank you. Of course, the other major story tonight, the concern over this dangerous, life-threatening cold. They're calling it a 